you're over in the Persian Gulf, this is what you might hear. An ear-splitting squeal to make pirates scatter. Scott Stuckey from a company called LRAD demonstrated its specialty. Talk to a small boat, let them know that you see them, let them know that they have lost the element of surprise. It also warns incoming ships to turn back in a variety of languages. At more than $20,000 each, these machines are already being used on more than 100 Navy ships. A West Virginia-based company produces a system that hits pirates with a wall of water, making it difficult to scale the ship, and it's a foul-smelling wall of water thanks to the addition of a smelly substance called the original Buford. Basically, it's a skunk on steroids. That product, Triton Shield, can be installed on a ship for about $50,000. Another low-tech idea, 300-foot ropes with tendrils designed to jam the propellers of threatening boats. Simple and effective, but not cheap. A Virginia company sells them for $50,000 each. All of these vendors are cashing in on shippers' fears. The industry now spends $2.5 billion a year to keep their ships safe. But LRAD had one of our best years ever uh, this past year, fiscal year that just ended. And uh, we're helping to save lives. The government and private industry have been working together, combining the latest technology with U.S. protocols. You know, America has really led the world when it comes to uh, defending against pirates. The, the things that we were talking about two years ago and other countries said, no way, we'll never put things like armed uh, private security guards on ships, they're now doing. The companies make the case that in addition to safety, it's also good business sense. In the past few years, 640 ships have been seized by pirates. The average ransom is $4 million. Megan Hughes, Bloomberg, Baltimore.